Hi, welcome to our channel. This is a Radical Living Challenge, and we are here to show you what we have decided to do in our life to live outside the preconceived norms of what we thought we had to do and to design a life that we love of meaning and fulfillment up. I met Marnie in 2009. We did the same personal development retreat at different times. And she came up to see a friend who was doing the same retreat. And that's where we initially met and locked eyes. We did lock eyes across the room. I thought he was super cute. And we met a few months later back in Los Angeles. And, and here we are. We've been started together. our relationship. We've been together almost 13 years. We got married in 2014. Um, and we really have a shared value for adventure and travel. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I bought that into the relationship. I think that's one of my qualities. You had it. I had it, but, but I had it in my own sort of way. Yeah, it's just, yeah. I mean, we started doing all those trips. You, you have, took it to the next level. Yeah. You took it to the it's next level. It's like a combination level. of family, which I didn't have so much of not having kids, coming, to, coming to this world and then bringing in my sense of adventure and travel and just blending it into so. our life. We have three kids. I was married for 17 years to their dad and I was single for five years when I met Jeremy. The pandemic created the scenario where the three adult kids came back home and we had this year of uh challenges but also it was super magical to be with the kids it kind of delayed the whole empty nest mm -hmm. thing and what i think is interesting about that and why this whole thing feels radical to me is that you know like in a typical situation your kids leave the house one at a time you know the oldest going first then the middle you know then the youngest and so what happened is that was happening and then the pandemic just like Arr! they all came back and then they all left at once in like 2015 um i started doing this uh annual planning retreat that a mentor of mine had told me she was doing with her husband and i started doing it myself and over the last six years, it then became something that we started doing. And then in 2020, we were like... End of 2020. Yeah, we yeah. started to take... We, we knew that we wanted to... We had a sense that we wanted to be on the road. We wanted to have some kind of adventure. For a long time, I'd been planning trips and had all these visions of different trips that we could do. Part of it was like, where do we want to be and where do we want to live? So even yeah. before the van trip, we was... started visiting places. We lived in... Um, we rented a, like a farm place kind of in rural Spain for a month because we we're like maybe we want to live abroad um maybe we want to live in Oregon maybe we want to live in Montana so we started doing these little trips and then when COVID hit the whole international thing sort of ended which is when we were like let's hit the road yeah. Jack because I think this was important for me I don't know about for you but my kids when they were in college my daughter took this camper van trip Australia around New Zealand and then my other daughter and I was like that sounds fun why just the young people have to get to do cool shit yeah, I'd been wanting to do this for probably 10 years but yep. it was just one of a series of plans so yeah we went around Utah mostly and did this van trip and discovered that it wasn't quite right for us but we loved being on the road recently we decided to rent a 36 foot motorhome and experiment with that and I knew I'd love it and I did love it way more than I thought, but I was kind of surprised that you loved it as much as you did and that you want to actually do this full time. I, so. I do love it. And on that trip, I realized it's not just like, oh, set a bunch of goals and do your life. When you get to the core of who you really are, sometimes that was lost. Six-year-old me went to camp like old-fashioned Girl Scout camp. I learned how to camp. I learned how to cook on the fire, how to gather wood, how to like set up tents. <clears throat> that wonder, that childlike wonder, that's me. And so what I love about this whole process um, of living radically is really radical living is getting back to the true essence of who you are outside of all the shoulds that have been layered upon you by life. 
um, and living life on your terms and making that happen sooner rather than later. It's gonna be spontaneous. We're not really sure what's gonna happen. We don't know if we're gonna love it. We may just quit. We may not wanna do this. <laughs> oh, we don't know what the hell is gonna happen. And it's scary and it's exciting and it's gonna be fun and I'm looking forward to the challenge. The other thing um, that I think is really important that you had thought about before was that it's not an intellectual process. Life design and living radically is about um, putting yourself out in experiments and challenging oh, yeah, yeah. yourself. That's what I was saying. Going to therapy, sitting on the therapist's couch is, has over time been amazing, but getting out there into nature, meeting people, being challenged in that way, I think for me, I've kind of reached like a more stagnating point and I feel like that's gonna open me up more and just open my mind and open my heart to new opportunities, new experiences. And then the last thing is I've been a coach for, um, I don't know, since 2009, as long as we've known each other. Um, and my business started as a dating coach. So we are dealing with our heart and our brain. And has expanded into really doing life coaching and helping women um, who are successful in all areas of their life really now find meaning in their life and creating a new definition of success and really living life on their terms. And I'm super excited also to be walking the talk, just like I did in dating way back. I was like, all right, I'm going to do it first and figure it out and take people along the adventure with me. And that's really also what this is about is me really being on my own spiritual journey and learning how to let go and work on my patterns of control and judgment and all those things that I uh, am working on and, and really put myself in there and hash it out in real life. Um, why is this a radical living challenge? I like challenges. I like to compete. I like to compete when it's fun. I don't like to compete to win. I like to compete when it's fun. I like putting myself in, in challenging experiences. This is our radical living challenge year. We're going to be moving out of the house. I lived in for 22 years. Jeremy's lived in it for 13. That's happening soon. And we're excited to take you on this journey of um, creating life that really makes your heart sing, that makes you feel like it's an expression of who you really are. So stay tuned and join us. Um, and maybe you'll end up creating your own radical living challenge so that you can live life on your terms right now. Bye.